It is in the morning without coffee. 在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里，我在这里， One to three inches of snow, so quite a bit. Some interesting facts about the Grand Canyon. Now, the Grand Canyon is so big; it's actually bigger than the state of Rhode Island. That is so big and so deep, and the elevation changes so quickly that actually affects the weather. Some other interesting facts about the Grand Canyon is that it is the second most visited park in the United States, national park. Can you guess what the first one is? I'll give you a second. It's the Smoky Mountains. Can you also guess what the most dangerous animal in the Grand Canyon is? I'll give you another second. It's the squirrel. So if you come across a squirrel, don't feed it because it will bite your fingers. Let's talk about the campground and the campsite I am at specifically. I am at campsite number thirty-eight. I like this campsite because there are plenty of space. As you can probably tell behind me, there are plenty of trees that kind of gives you shade,、um, especially during the middle of the day. Now, the downside about Site 38 it is it is right next to the road. So if you're a light sleeper, this is probably not the best campsite for you. Even though there isn't that many cars going by at night, still that's something to consider. This campsite has your typical, of course, picnic bench, fire ring. Also, the parking spot with this specific campsite is kind of small. I don't know if you're able to fit two cars in here. You may be able to squeeze it in、uh, on the pavement, but it's a little bit small. Now, the bathrooms here at Mather Campground are actually really clean. They have an automatic soap dispenser, so. During this time in the pandemic, you don't have to touch anything. Right behind the bathroom, there's a dishwashing sink. However, during winter time, they do turn it off. So if you're gonna come around this time, be prepared for that. Also, right next to the bathroom, you have your dumpster. It's only about a, I would say, 30 second walk or even less from site number 38. So it's really easy to access, especially at night. Uh, where it's a little bit cold, especially around this time, you don't want to walk very far. I didn't see a specific spout for drinking water. I think they may just use the same sink as you use to wash your dishes. So if you're not too comfortable with that, just make sure to bring your own water. The nice thing about this campground, located right next to the Grand Canyon Village, is your access to supplies. So if you forgot something or you need to resupply, it's like a 30 second drive to the general store. There's also a post office if you need to mail anything. The first day that I got here, I got here at night. However, it was still really easy to find my campsite. They have these posts with your campsite number on them, and they're pretty large numbers, and they're reflective. So as long as you have your headlights on, it'd be really easy to find. On this campground, there's also a laundry and a shower, but of course, during this pandemic, is currently closed. Now let's talk about the activities that you can do here at the Grand Canyon. There are two really popular hikes, which is the Bright Angel and the South Kebab. I think I'm saying that right. You can also, if you don't want to hike any of those trails, you can also do the Rim Trail, which gives you a fantastic view of the Grand Canyon. I hiked the Bright Angel Trail. Now, just to let you know, I went all the way to the Three Mile Rest House. The drinking water faucet is currently closed for winter. It's only on during summer. So if you are gonna hike it during winter, make sure you prepare plenty of water. The hike was a gorgeous hike. There's nothing in the world like the Grand Canyon. The hike down was easy. The hike up was really hard. Whether you do the Bright Angel or the South Kebab, I highly recommend you pack. Plenty of water, plenty of food, and also a pair of hiking poles. Now, like I said, if you don't want to do the Bright Angel or the South Kebab, you could definitely do the 
south rim trail, which is really nice. And you can also bike it. So you can bring your bicycle, you can bike the trail, especially during like the spring, fall times, which is nice and cool. Even during summertime, they have a pretty complex shuttle system. They'll take you to pretty much anywhere in the park and within the village. So you could just park your cars in one of the free parking lots and basically explore the entire park without having to drive around. If you're coming to the Grand Canyon for the first time, it's worth checking out the visitor center. They also have a geology museum that gives you kind of the facts and history of the Grand Canyon. I do these videos about these campsites is because I really encourage you to come out to nature and get connected to the outdoors. What I enjoy most about being outdoors in mother nature is really the mental health benefits that I get from it. When I'm out here, it allows me to kind of hit the reset button, it clears my mind, and it kind of gives me space to think about the, the vision of my life and my next steps that I'm gonna take. Now the mental health benefits it's gonna be different for everybody. So I really encourage you to come out here, see what mother nature has to offer you and just enjoy the beauty of this park and the beauty of this world. Now, if you are gonna come out here in November, make sure you have cold camping gear. As you can tell, it's snowing and it's quite cold. Last night, it got down into the 20s. So be prepared. But one of the best things about coming out here around this time of the year is the campground is almost empty. The next occupant is probably like 10 sites away. I mean, I drove around, there's maybe only 10 to 20 actually people here. So if you are gonna come around this time, it's nice because it's not busy, so you can visit the park. There's not gonna be a lot of crowds, but the downside is it is cold. So as long as you have cold camping gear, you'll be okay. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make it out here to the Grand Canyon. Now, if you do have any questions about the Grand Canyon, please enter that into the comment below and we'll see you next time.